Hey everybody, it's Jake Tapper with CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org. This week we're going to take a look at two comments, one made by somebody named Trump and one made by somebody named Clinton. Let's start with the Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump. He was asked about Iran announcing that they would release four Americans who had been detained in a few cases for years. Take a listen. Four American hostages, including Jason Rezaian, released by Iran. Now, you said that was never going to happen. You blamed Obama. Ready to give him credit? Absolutely not. And I never said it was never going to happen. I said that if I got in, it would happen immediately. So is that right? Did Trump never say that those detained Americans would never come back as long as Obama was in charge? He never said that? No, he said that. Take a listen. We can talk about the fact that we have four wonderful people over there, and frankly, they're never going to come back with this group. And I will say this. If I win the presidency, I guarantee you that those four prisoners are back in our country before I ever take office. I guarantee that. Now let's turn to Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and comments made by her daughter, Chelsea, attacking the health care plan of Bernie Sanders. Senator Sanders wants to dismantle Obamacare, dismantle the CHIP program, dismantle Medicare, um, dismantle private insurance. So I worry that if we give Republicans Democratic permission to do that, we'll go back to an era before we had the Affordable Care Act that will strip millions and millions and millions of people of their health insurance. Is that right? Does Sanders want to go back to an era where millions and millions of Americans don't have health insurance? No, that's not right. Current insurance would be replaced by something called Medicare for all. We should point out that Chelsea Clinton made those comments before Sanders unveiled his plan, Medicare for All. Under the plan, the federal government would act as the sole insurer. It is true that earlier legislative efforts by Sanders called for the states to administer their own health plans. This plan, however, would be paid for by new taxes that would replace private insurance premiums. The Sanders plan would be funded through several new taxes, in fact, including a 2.2% premium paid by individuals, 6.2% payroll tax paid by employers, an increase in the estate tax for wealthy Americans, and higher income taxes on those making more than $250,000 per year. A reminder to all the candidates out there and their surrogates, including their kids, you're entitled to your own opinions. You're not entitled to your own facts. I'm Jake Tapper for CNN State of the Union and factcheck.org.